Now this will be controversial, but this is the best coffee shop in your state. First stop is Alabama, and here we have Red Bite Coffee Company. They have ethically sourced and meticulously roasted coffee, which makes it an absolute must try. Next up is Alaska, and forget about cold because this coffee shop will warm you right up. Black Cup from Anchorage is the way to go. With beans from around the world that are roasted to perfection, this place looks amazing. Look at the vibe here. I mean, if you see a coffee shop like this, do not pass it. For Arizona, we have me. Not really, but this was a very hard choice. I'm from here. I'm gonna give it to Cartel Roasting Company. Look at this vibe. I make really good recipes though. Now we're in Arkansas where they have world-class coffee here at Onyx Coffee Lab. The vibe here looks amazing. Their coffee is fantastic and they even have an advent calendar of coffee. This one honestly might take the best in the country. Now we're in California, which is a huge state. We're gonna give three for this one. Up north in San Francisco, we have Sight Glass. This place is amazing. I had just a basic espresso, black, and it was delicious. Then down to Santa Cruz, we have Verve, and their coffee is amazing. I've ordered it several times. It'd be a shame if I didn't mention Blue Bottle. They have great coffee. Try their New Orleans cold brew. It's different, but it's really good. It's time to get Rocky Mountain high with a cup of joe. We're in Colorado with Boulder's very own Boxcar Coffee Roasters. And if the coffee wasn't enough, look at these pastries. Now leaving the mountains, we're gonna head to New England. Meet J. Renee Coffee Roasters. If you see a shop displaying this up in the front, you know it's gonna be good. Focus on quality and community, which brings much more than caffeine and coffee culture. We're in America's first state, which is a small state, but has some big coffee flavors. We're in Delaware, where we have Brandywine Coffee Roasters. I'm just saying. They also have some really cool art on their bags. I just ordered this coffee today. Now we're in the Sunshine State with Miami's Panther Coffee. Panther Coffee takes you on a global coffee journey without making you leave the Miami heat. Let's go to Georgia. Along with Peaches, you can still get some great coffee here. Let's go to East Pole Coffee. East Pole is all about the coffee community. They have a great vibe here and amazing tasting coffee. I'm gonna say it again, if you see this at a coffee shop, you know it's gonna be good. Aloha from Hawaii. When you think of the islands, you should also think of coffee. Meet Kona Coffee and Tea. This coffee here is grown on the volcanic slopes of Mauna Loa. This gives it some amazing and unique flavor profiles. When you think of Idaho, you might think of potatoes. You should also think of coffee because we have Doma Coffee Roasters. In addition to having great coffee, Doma also emphasizes in sustainability and community. Just look at this vibe too. I mean, it's amazing. Next stop, we're into the Windy City for Intelligentsia. Intelligentsia sets a really high standard with direct-to-trade partnerships, and look at this vibe. It's different than most, but it's still great. From the racing tracks to the coffee racks, Indiana has game at Tinker Coffee Company. I love that Tinker Coffee focuses on education around specialty coffee. Go here if you want to learn more. In the Midwest, in Iowa. Now, I know what you're thinking. Hey, bisexual barista, is there anything besides corn in Iowa? Absolutely there is. Here we got Sidecar Coffee in Cedar Falls. Just walking here would be amazing. And to top that, they focus on community and quality. The inside has a different vibe, definitely check them out. From the Sunflower State, meet PT's Coffee Roasting Company. PT's Coffee is all about farm to cup, working with coffee roasters around the world to get the best beans in your cup. They also have some really cool locations in Kansas City. Now, bourbon isn't the only brew in Kentucky. Introducing Sonergo's Coffee. Sonergo's Coffee provides unique blends and single origin coffees. Providing a high quality coffee experience in a building like this, I'm sold. Mardi Gras on coffee? You bet. French Truck Coffee brings specialty coffee to the heart of New Orleans. French Truck Coffee takes you on a flavorful journey, just like a night in the French Quarter. Lighthouses to coffee houses, welcome to Maine. Let's explore Tandem Coffee Roasters in Portland. Apart from this awesome vibe, Tandem brings simplicity and quality together. Every coffee shop I've been to that has coffee and bicycles, fantastic. Now we're in Maryland and I'm introducing Ceremony Coffee Roasters. They have a handful of different locations in Maryland. They're all great. Make sure you check out the roastery. That one's special. There's a reason why it's called the Boston Tea Party. It's because they wouldn't dare waste any of George Powell's coffee. George Powell is a pioneer in the special coffee industry. And their coffee is as revolutionary as the state it calls home. From the Great Lakes to Great Coffee, we're in Michigan. Say hello to Madcap Coffee in Grand Rapids. If I'm saying they're the top of the state, they obviously have good coffee, but look at this vibe. I just want to be here all the time. Keeping warm in Minnesota can be difficult, but Spy House Coffee Company makes it so much easier. Serving coffee out of the Twin Cities, Spy House has exceptional service, great coffee, and great vibes. I'm going to say it again. If you see one of these roasters in the front of the shop, you know you're at a good place. Let's sip into Mississippi's best kept secret. I'm talking about 929 Coffee. 929 is nestled in the historic town of Laurel. They serve exceptional coffee that's steeped with Southern charm. We're in Missouri, the gateway to the West and the gateway to great coffee. Let's check out Sump Coffee. Sump Coffee is all about precision and passion. This brings a coffee experience as iconic as the St. Louis Arc. Mountains, wildlife, and exquisite coffee? Definitely. We're in Montana with black coffee roasting. It goes without saying, this place is unique. Top it off, the roast captures the spirit and beauty of Montana. Nebraska is more than cornfields, it's coffee fields too. Introducing Archetype Coffee. 
Residing in Omaha, Archetype Coffee is a serious brainchild for coffee aficionados. They have a sleek interior and thoughtfully sourced beans that are roasted to perfection. In the heart of Las Vegas, Nevada, meet Publicus. Publicus is a canteen-style neighborhood coffee house. They offer a unique bean-to-cup experience in the heart of Las Vegas and make some serious brews. Now we're taking off in New Hampshire with Flight Coffee Company. Based in Dover, Flight Coffee focuses as much on the journey as they do the destination. They have a really cool space vibe here with this little astronaut dog, but they have an awesome dedication to quality and education around coffee. New Jersey might be the garden state, but Rook Coffee is planting seeds of flavor in every cup. Rook Coffee is all about simplicity, quality, and bringing people together. With all of their locations, they're bringing up a storm stronger than any Jersey Shore wave. Deeping ourselves in New Mexico's rich coffee scene, we find ourselves at Cutbow Coffee. This shop is a brainchild of Paul Gallagos, who has a deep passion for roasting coffee. Now we're in New York, which is massive, so we're gonna have three for this one. And first one up, we have Say in Brooklyn. This shop is a place where coffee meets art. Say Coffee is known for its unique approach and it highlights single origin coffee beans with light roast that sing flavors. Now let's talk about Cafe Grumpy. Let's face it, everyone looks like this before the coffee. You're grumpy, but when you get this cup in your hand, you'll be sipping on it and you'll be so much happier. And finally, meet Gregory's Coffee. Gregory's is a New York staple that's redefining the coffee game with every cup. Now we're in North Carolina at Black White Coffee Roasters. This is where expertise meets passion. This roaster is founded by U.S. Barista Champions. That's how you know it's good. Over in Fargo, 20 Below Coffee Company is creating a buzz with its coffee vibes. 20 Below is all about warmth, quality, and a place where everyone feels welcome. We're here in Cleveland, Ohio. We have Phoenix Coffee Company. They stand out for their commitment to quality and the dedication to be a key part of their community. Heading to Oklahoma, we have Elemental Coffee Roasters that take stage with its innovative and delicious brews. If you've never tried espresso straight, this is the place to try it. Now in Portland, Oregon, which is one of the best cities for coffee, because it's one of the best, it's gonna be one of the most controversial picks, and I'm going with Heart. Heart captures coffee lovers with its minimalist approach and impressive flavors. They're all about the art of coffee, focus on quality that makes your drinks amazing. From the West Coast to the East Coast, we're in Pennsylvania. There are plenty of great options in Pennsylvania, but I'm gonna go with Lancaster's own Passenger Coffee. Passenger Coffee is a beacon of quality and innovation. They have a deep commitment of sourcing the finest beans. Rhode Island might be small, but Bolt Coffee is a giant in the world of specialty coffee. Bolt Coffee is known for its passion and community and making some top-notch brews. Here in Providence, check this place out and try the espresso tonic. Down in South Carolina, Greenville's Methodical Coffee is next. At Methodical, they are making waves with their meticulous approach to specialty coffee. Methodical combines artistry and precision. This makes for a unique coffee experience that's refined and delightful. South Dakota Rapid City's Pure Bean Coffee House is brewing up a storm with some cozy vibes and great coffee. Pure Bean isn't just about the coffee. It's about creating a space where people can connect and relax. Heading to Tennessee, Chattanooga's Velo Coffee is pedaling ahead in the specialty coffee race. Velo combines a love for bikes as well as a deep passion in coffee. This creates an energetic and environmentally conscious coffee culture. Deep in the heart of Texas, Austin's Cuve Coffee is a trailblazer in the special coffee world. Cuve Coffee is known for its pioneering spirit. From cold brew innovations to sustainable sourcing practices, Cuve makes every cup a testament to Texas's bold character. In Utah, Salt Lake City's La Barba Coffee is a beacon for coffee enthusiasts. La Barba Coffee prides itself in its artisan roasting and its direct relationship with farmers. This ensures a cup of coffee that's both conscientious and delicious. It is look at this space, it's beautiful. In the green state of Vermont, Burlington's Brio Coffee Works is brewing up something special. Brio Coffee Works is all about small batch roasting, sustainability, and community engagement. They offer a coffee experience as rich and varied as Vermont's landscape. In Richmond, Virginia, Blanchard Coffee is a testament to its timeless art, especially coffee. Here they focus on crafting roasts to highlight the specific flavors of each and every bean. Now we're in Washington, and over in Olympia, we have Olympia Coffee Roasting Company. Olympia crafts award-winning brews with a focus on sustainability and quality. With several locations in Olympia and Seattle, Olympia Coffee Roasting is not just a roaster, it's a part of Washington's coffee revolution. In Morgantown, West Virginia, Mountain Roasting Company is brewing up a storm with its Mountain Roasted Coffee. Mountaineer Roasting is all about bringing the best of the mountains into every cup. Their commitment to sustainably sourced and expertly roasted coffee makes them a standout in West Virginia. Wisconsin's coffee culture is highlighted in Colectivo in Milwaukee. This is where art meets artisanal brewing. Here they are known for their artistic approach to coffee. Through the lively cafe environments, this makes it a cornerstone in Wisconsin's coffee scene. In Wyoming, Jackson's Snake River Roasting brews with a view. With a deep focus on artisanal brewing, each batch reflects the rugged and adventurous spirit of Wyoming. If you like and follow, tell me what you thought about